Hey everybody, Jeff Archon here. Well, we're on to episode 41 now for Sonic Boom. Bro Down Showdown? Okay. Let's take a look, see, and what we get here. Okay. <coughs> Telegram for Amy Rose. You won the most selfless award. Mine! <coughs> Amy, what is it? A few weeks ago, I submitted myself for this year's most selfless award, and I just found out that I won! Hey, you submitted yourself? Can you do that? In this life, you've got to look out for number one. I deserve this. So, um, while you're gone, you're gonna need a house sitter, huh? Last time I lived you here, I came back to find a family of skunks living in the crawl space. You should be flattered. Skunks are very picky. Oh, come on, Amy, let us stay here. Wait, are you talking about the animal it's skunks, or are we talking actual... Boring watching a it's a little hard to tell with these worlds. I see a blue outside my beachfront paradise every day. I want to watch cable! <laughs> please, 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 please! Can we stay? Be a guy. Oh, fine. But only because I am extremely selfless. But if you two do anything foolish, I promise you will face my wrath! Ta-ta! <laughs> yeah! Wanna do something foolish? You even have to ask. Don't break anything! Stuck it! You thinking what I'm thinking? Not your brain! It's okay. It's just a small stain. We can fix this. Uh. I heard seltzer can get out stains. No seltzer. But there's grape soda. It has bubbles, so it should work. No, 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 no! I'll just make it worse! Oh, man. Oh, you soaked it! Better take it outside to dry in the sun. Okay, how did I get in? Okay. <laughs> so we've ripped the couch, stained it, and made it wet. Baby's gonna kill us. What do we do? Think you and your bro have what it takes to throw down a throw down showdown? The show where bros compete to show how well they know their bro? Throw down showdown will be taping at the village center this weekend. How's that gonna help us? Stupid TV. Don't miss your chance to win a brand new couch. Still don't get it. Yes, you heard right. A brand new couch. Nope. Nothing. Oh, for the love of. <clears throat> Do I need to express aloud that spying on Sonic has given me an idea for a plan to destroy him? Or is that obvious? Is what obvious? I can't believe how many people showed up to this audition. Out of the way. Love it or lose it. Total bros coming through. Hey, man. What are you doing here? No, nothing. Just auditioning with my bro bot. Ain't that right, Orby? Yes, sir. It would seem I'm your bro. All right. Who's next? To old. Too ugly, too out of touch with a common man. Uh, next. Hey, you barely looked at us. Sorry, kid. I'm just not getting enough of a bro vibe. Ha <laughs> ha! Stinks to be you! Can it, egghead? You think he's gonna prefer your unruly mustache and your dainty lame bot? Mm. I'll show you unruly, you spiny haired rodent! I'll have none of that bickering in my audition. Save it for the show. Of course. You're more bros now. Bros were enemies. That hedgehog is no bro of mine. But again, I'm not going to complain if it gets us on the show. Come on, Sonic, play ball. I guess you're right. Sorry, Nux, but if we want to win that couch for Amy, I got to do this. But I thought this was going to be a Sonic and Knuckles episode. Yeah, well, my disappointments, Knuckles. I always wanted to be a traffic cop. Now move along. You're blocking the fire lane. Look, Sonic, I got a new partner. Jealous much? Great idea, Nux. Now we have double the chances of winning that couch for Amy. Oh, I'm to take the wind out of my sails. Live from Billing Center, it's Throwdown Showdown. Today's bros, Sonic the Hedgehog and Dr. Eggman. Nickels the Echidna and Mike the Ox. A pair of stunt bears. And Dave the Eternal Lady Wallace. Seriously, Dave, she's 
pleasure, bro. We don't like to put labels on our bro. Thank you. Welcome to Bro Down Showdown, the show where bros go toe to toe in hopes of winning a narratively convenient prize. Narratively convenient prize. Let's get started. Dr. Eggman, what is Sonic's favorite movie? No way he'll know this. It's Croctopotamus. I believe one time while I was pummeling it with a severed arm of one of my robot drones, he mumbled something about space pigeons. So I'm going to go with space pigeons too. Everyone knows it's the best of the trilogy. Correct! Space Pigeons 2! Sonic and Eggman off to an early lead. Now Dave and huh. Lil Morris. I can't believe you knew that. Hey, you gotta know your enemy. Especially when he's your bro! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's right for 10 points. Now, Stunt Bear number 2. How did Stunt Bear number 1 say you first met? Oh! The bro code clearly dictates there must be no fighting between bros. Now, Knuckles, we asked Mike the following question. A bro would never do what to another bro? Hmm, I'm gonna have to go with... Totally ditch him to appear on a game show with his arch nemesis. I said a bro would never eat the last cheese ball without asking. But your answer was good, too. Oh, boy. Sonic. If your bro were a food, what kind of food would he be? Uh, I don't know. Uh, an egg? Oh, I said herb crusted tilapia. But then I changed my answer to egg! Knuckles, we asked Mike what color you are. Oh, that's easy. I'm red. Ah, uh, I said green. I'm colorblind. Uh, is that the green light? No. Lady Walrus, what is Dave the Intern's occupation? He works in the fast food industry. I said evil villain bent on destroying the world. Judges, we can accept that answer. <laughs> Sonic, if you went out of town, what's the first thing your bro said he would do while you were gone? Oh, I know this one. It's gonna be destroy the village. He's right. I said I destroy the village. I reduce you all to a smoldering pile of ashes. <laughs> wow. And Mike, you have the lowest score. Audience, what happens to them now? Your bro eliminated! We're down to the final two teams. Which one will go home with that snazzy new couch? The sudden? Sonic! Eggman! An Eggman robot! Let's turn this bag of bolts into a scrap heap. Hang on, did you say that's an Eggman robot? Judges? Yep, if you fight that robot, you're technically fighting with your bro. You gotta be Seriously? <laughs> I knew my plan would work. If you fight my robot, we'll be disqualified, and you'll never win that couch for that whiny little girlfriend of yours. She's not my girlfriend! <laughs> On the other hand, you could just stand back and watch the town get blown to smithereens. Either way, you lose online TV! Don't worry, bro. I got this. Maybe combat will fill the sonic-shaped void you left in my heart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, they all just popped out of it. Producers are telling me that I don't get paid if we don't finish the show. So let's move on to round two. Sonic, what does Dr. Eggman have in his pockets right now? <laughs> oh, his pockets, right, uh... I don't know, a uh, hippopotamus riding on a skateboard? Ha! <laughs> Lady Walrus! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> now, Dr. Eggman, fill in the blanks. Whenever Sonic does blank, I blank myself. <laughs> Something stupid. 
stupid, bro? Do you even have to ask? <laughs> So just now getting up. Baby, no! Wow, convenient. Oh man, baby, Eight Man totally destroyed your couch. Yeah, and after we didn't spill nachos on it. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, a real shame. Come on, Knuckles, let's get out of here. I hope someone's been feeding my cat. <laughs> well, so that was that was Bro Down Showdown, and again, it's the Goofy Pluto thing again. They're both dogs, but one's on. <sighs> but you have your entire cast as animals when they mention having pets. It gets confusing. Especially when you have characters who are those animals. But yeah, bro down showdown. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, this definitely proves that Eggman and Sonic are pretty much in sync with one another. <laughs> ah well. Like I said, they've got a complicated relationship. Ah well. Jeff Archfiend, out. <laughs>